me when you moan, people don't know what you're moaning about. Some people moan when they're glad, and some people moan when they're sad. You see, either way the wind blows, who cool me? My doctor told me not to pick up nothing heavier than bigger than egg, and not too many heavy thighs. <laughs> Man, on the other side. Look at him. Today I got a letter in the mail from the president Bush and Quayle. There's a important notice. Please read carefully. There's a dear Mr. West, the Department of Social Service will hereby grant you a relief check on June the 3rd of $303.21 per month. You will receive a health card. Yeah. Everybody need a health card these days with all these things going around. It says, uh, you may also qualify for food stamps. Now, what in the hell does it mean I may qualify? When I almost got caught last night at the Piggy Wiggy coming out with a poke rose up under my shirt. Like the Godfather said, they ain't done got too far gone. Boy, look at him. They say, uh, you must report any change in your address, income, assets, size of your family, and other situations to your local welfare office within the next 10 days. What about the people living in them hotels? They've been reporting to the welfare office. Y'all did a damn thing for them. How you gonna do so much for me? Yeah, I, I don't wanna be sassy, but I thank you for this piece of paper I got today. <laughs> Sir Reebok, I done been in school, still can't get a job. You know, every time they send me to a job site, when I get there, they tell me, say, oh, that was still last night. I used to say to myself, now, that don't even sound right. See, I thought it was the color of my skin with the black. Until I turned around, I saw the next 10 people get turned down, they skin was white. See, it's not about the color, creed, or race. All kinds of people are waiting in line down at the welfare place. You know, I went over to a separate company. She about to get the job. I said, I can drive a truck. They wanted to know if I had a degree in chemistry. I said, hmm, y'all must want me to mix up the stuff. Have you ever had an appointment with your caseworker at 9 o'clock in the morning? You waited all day and you didn't see her till 3 o'clock that afternoon. Just for that bitch to tell you to come back next Tuesday to recertify. And if you had to speak to the supervisor, they'll tell you she's in a meeting all day long. Or they might use this line and say, uh, she's out the sun. Now who in the hell come to work 9 o'clock in the morning and go to lunch at 10? Boy, they got something for you down there with, folks. Man, let me tell you, I'm hungry. I need some food in my house. See, I ain't no hunter. I wasn't raised in the woods. I don't know nobody going to look in the bushes trying to find no quail. Why don't y'all give me an emergency relief check? Don't come get me that big box. See, computers down. Which they almost always do. And if they do give you a check, it won't be them for $10. Now, how in the hell... $10 gonna pay for a cigarette, cigarette, half a pint, half a pint, half a pint, bacon, egg, and milk. Bacon, egg, and milk. Some of y'all will run try to take the man on the corner. Y'all get yourself together. Y'all know it ain't right. Feeling the check on that crazy stuff. Talking about if I stray, I can get rehabilitated. Well, it was in your mind to come down and try to get that check. It all will be in your mind to try to get correct. Some of you ladies abuse the system. You take your money and give it to the 30 and 31 crew. You know, uh, the guys that don't come around to the last of the month, 
You know, the 30, the 31st. And then y'all be talking about it. <laughs>